In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a brightness setting that does not just adjust the intensity of lights inside of your game. This is a feature that most games have, including Skyrim, which we're making a clone of. Link in the description. Here we just have a basic scene with a canvas and a slider, and the first thing that we're going to do is go into our package manager and download post-processing. This is how we'll be adjusting the brightness inside of our game. Once it's finished downloading, we're going to go to our main camera, and we're going to add on a post-process layer component. For trigger, we're going to set it to this, and for our layer, we're going to need to create a new layer, and we're going to call it post-processing. Don't forget to actually set the layer to post-processing too. Then we're gonna create a new game object and we're just gonna call it brightness. And we're gonna move it into our canvas for organization's sake. And on our brightness game object, we're gonna add a new component, a post-process volume. We're gonna set it to is global. And for the profile, we're just gonna click the new button. Then we'll hit add effect, unity, and we're gonna pick auto exposure. And then we're gonna hit exposure compensation. Now this isn't gonna work until we set the layer of the game object to post-processing. Now this affects our world's brightness, but not the UI. We're gonna fix that. To do so, we're gonna to go to our main camera, we're gonna create a new camera, and then we're gonna get rid of its audio listener. After that, we're gonna add on a component, another post-process layer, then set its layer to be post-processing, and then we're gonna set our depth to one, or at least a digit ahead of our main camera, our clear flags to depth only, and then our calling mask to nothing but UI. After that, go to our main camera, make sure clear flags has everything except UI. Now it's still not gonna work, and that's because we need to go into our canvas, set it to screen space camera, and then drag in our new camera object. Now when we adjust our brightness, it affects everything. Now it's time to create a new script, and we're gonna call it brightness. Then we'll open the script in Visual Studio, and the first thing that we're gonna do is set it to using unityengine.ui and using unityengine.rendering.postprocessing. Then we're gonna create a public slider called brightness slider, a public post-process profile called brightness, and a public post-process layer called layer. The last thing that we're gonna make is a private auto exposure called exposure, and then we're gonna go into our start function and we're gonna say brightness dot try get setting out exposure. Then we're gonna delete our update function and create a new function called public void adjust brightness with the parameter of float called value. Inside of the function, we're gonna say if value is not equal to zero, we're gonna say exposure dot key value dot value equals value. And then we're gonna have an else statement and it's gonna say exposure dot key value dot value equals 0.05F. And that's just so you can't make it pitch black. Save that, and we're going to go back into the editor, and we're going to add our script onto our brightness game object. Set the slider to be our brightness slider, and if you didn't move it, our brightness profile should be under our scenes folder, and then our layer will be on our main camera object. And the last thing that we need to do is go into our slider, go to on value change, drag in our brightness game object, and then set it to brightness.adjustbrightness under the dynamic float. Also, something that we forgot to mention is that you can leave your min value at zero and set your max float to something like five. Now we can go into play mode and test this, and we can adjust our brightness. But for whatever reason, things are kind of slow, and they take a little bit to buffer. We're going to fix that by going onto our Brightness game object, going to Adaptation, and changing the type from Progressive to Fixed. Now our Brightness slider is actually responsive. The last thing that we're going to do is go back into our script, and then at the end of our Start function, we're going to call our Adjust Brightness function, and we're going to set the parameter to be Brightness slider dot value. That way our brightness matches the slider when you start playing, as opposed to after you've adjusted it. Save that and go back into the editor, and you'll see that if we adjust the slider and then hit Play, that it starts out of the brightness that it should be. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them on our Discord. We have a Discord now. Also, this tutorial was brought to you by Unity, specifically their sale with Blink. Go ahead and use our affiliate link in the description below to help us out and get some cool medieval assets. The sale ends pretty soon, so I would hurry if I were you.